All right, I'm still setting our thing up. Uh, we're going to be putting in the new fan today. It's actually nighttime. It's uh, what time is it? Oh, nine o'clock. Uh, but personal project, personal laptop, kind of have to do it when you can. Uh, so I got all my screws over here. I'm just using the lid of my scale to put those in. Uh, this is the old fan. This is the new one right here. Got some new cooling compound. I'm just going to use some Arctic Silver. That's what I have in stock. The Arctic Silver 5s. Pretty good stuff. But they're pretty much pretty close to the same. Just don't overspend on your compound. And don't use a lot of it. You don't need a lot. Okay, so first things first is just to get everything organized. So this is the hard drive for this laptop. We're just going to set this off to the side. Uh, we don't need this anymore. Um, I just kind of saved it for a comparison. And we see we flip it upside down. They line up the exact same. Same bend, same everything. So perfect. So we don't need this one anymore. Um, I might try to connect this up to a 12 volt source later. Just so we can see how this works. Or how it doesn't work, but, oh well, don't, not interesting, not right now. So, I just have some toilet paper I'm going to use to wipe this processor off. But we're going to put some new on there. Alright, before we get too far, we want to make sure that this fan lines up per uh, perfectly. So we're just going to dry mount this first. Looks like it's almost there, but slightly off. So just a little tweaking. I think we can get it from there. So, what we need to do now is put the screws down for the processor. And those were the small ones. And I got those right here. Oh, we almost forgot to put compound on. And now when you put the compound on, you only need very little bit. You don't need a lot. And so I'm just going to put a little bit on. See, only that much. But I'm going to use the tip to smear it around. Oh, I could use a little more. Now, the thing is, too much is bad, too little is okay, but you want just enough to cover it. So that's literally all you need. And as you can see, there's not a whole lot on there. There's no big gobs. Really, really thin layer. That's all you need. So now we're going to go ahead and put this back on. Get back to where we were before. Bit. So with a little bit of coaching, we should be able to get it to fit because this fan 
needs to be lined up with that hole right there. And as we can see, it's off. So to fix that, we're just going to carefully bend this. You gotta make sure you support this. And I'm going to do this off camera because I'm going to be very careful with it. Oh, well, it actually went in almost immediately after I got the camera off. I just wiggled it around, got it to snap in there in place. Everything is still tight. We're going to put it down carefully. We don't want that coming up too soon or at all. So we're just going to make sure this is all tight. You don't want to really strip these screws out. So you see, I'm only using two fingers. Okay, you don't on them. That's how you break things and very quickly. So that's all back together. So now we're back at putting it in. And yes, I know my laptop is dirty. So we're just going to make sure everything's moved out of our way. Forgot a pretty important step. Plugging this back in. This is the fan controller. And it goes in right there. So here's the top cover. This is the power button strip right here. This is the power button. So we're just going to plug the power strip in right here. Just to make sure everything's hunky dory. Sometimes this little strip can be hard to get in. Well, 
once you think you get it in, just give it a little tug, and I mean a little tug, and see if it's on. Alright, so we got the power strip on. So we got it turned on now. And look, the fan is running beautifully. So that's just what we want. So I'm just going to hold the power button and turn it all back off. And now, you got to kind of set this back here and get these other ones in. That's pretty much that's it. And it always sounds easier than what it is. Take your time, make sure you get them all in right. Alright, now let's turn it on again. And we just want to do a function test. And basically, uh, that's just going to be making sure that the keyboard works. The mouse pad works, the computer turns on, as you can see it is, Alright, well, once we get to this startup screen right here, mouse track works, touch works, I mean touching on the keyboard, and I just want to get keyboard seems to function, perfect. So we're going to turn it back off. Now that we know it works, there's nothing else we need to do. Making sure nothing is pinched, nothing is, perfect. And then. Snap it all back into place. Close the top. Check all the way around. And flip her over. 